Hello, KJA. How are you children of P4? I want to welcome you to this lesson. I'm teacher Samuel Ewalo, and I'm going to take you through mathematics P4. The very last time in our last lesson, we had introduced ourselves to types of numbers. Types types of numbers. Okay? And we have looked at four types of numbers. That is even numbers. Even numbers. We had also looked at odd odd numbers. We had also looked at uh, counting numbers, counting numbers. We had also looked at whole numbers, whole numbers. So I don't want to go back to talk about them, but I, I remember I gave you an activity that I want us to do corrections. I had given you an activity and I want us to do corrections. I want us to do some corrections. Okay? So in number one, in number one of the activity, the question was saying name, name and write. Name and write the missing. The missing numbers. So we are supposed to name and write. So in our number one, that we had zero, one, uh, we had dash, three, four, we had dash, we had six, seven, eight. Then dash 19, uh, we, had, we had 10, this is 10, then we had, the, after 10 we went to 11, we went to, so we had up to, after 10 you go to 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, okay? So you were required to fill the dash. So what is this? Zero. So what type of numbers are these? So these are whole numbers. Those are whole numbers, okay? So the missing numbers here are 0, 1, we have 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. And so we are going to write these. These are whole numbers. Okay? So if you did that, you, you have your answer here. And this is also correct. Okay? So in our number two, in our number two, the missing, we had one, two, Three, four, five. Then we had the dash, 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 dash. Up ten, twelve, um, ten. Actually, it is ten. You go to eleven. You go to eleven. You go to twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So what is that? What are the missing numbers here? So what type of numbers are these? These are counting, counting numbers, counting numbers. So what are the counting numbers? One, two, three, four, five. The next one is six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Let's move to number three quickly. In our number three, we have zero, two, four. Dash, dash, we have 10, 12, we have 14, 
16 dash dash. So these are even numbers. So these are even. These are even numbers. The first even number is zero. So you you move you go on skipping the the, the, the one and you go on skipping one. So we have zero, two, four, six, eight. 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. So these are, those are even numbers. Let's go to number 4. Our number 4 was 1, 3, 4, 1, 3, 1, 3, 5, 1, 3, 5, dash, dash. Uh, we had 11, 13. Then we have dash, dash. Then we have 19, 21, 23. So what type of numbers are these? So these are odd numbers. These are odd numbers. Odd numbers. So the, the, the first odd number is 1. Then you go to 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, 13, 15. 17, 19, 20, 21, 23. Okay? Then we went the last, our last number was 0 dash 4 dash 8 dash 12 dash 16. So, which type of numbers are these? Okay? So what what is what is going so from zero you move to two so these are still uh, even numbers so you have two four six eight ten twelve fourteen and then sixteen so these are these are even numbers okay so dear children. That was the, the lesson of that day, and we were specifically looking at types of numbers. So today in our lesson, we are going to look at number patterns, how to form number patterns, okay? So, uh, dear children, in today's lesson, we are continuing with number patterns and sequences. But today's lesson, we are going to look at number Patterns. We are looking at forming, forming, and filling, and completing, and completing number, number patterns, number patterns, stroke sequences. Okay. So in in our lesson today, we want to and complete number patterns and sequences okay so first what 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 you need to know that when you know the types of numbers then types of numbers also form a certain number pattern okay so uh, uh, number patterns number patterns can be formed. Number patterns can be formed in various in various ways. Okay? And those various ways, how you can form number patterns, one of them is by by type using a type of numbers, type of numbers. Okay? So in our first lesson, we looked at types of numbers. Types of numbers also form a number pattern. Just as we looked at in our first lesson and in the corrections we have had. So even numbers have to follow a certain number pattern. Odd numbers have to follow a certain number pattern. Uh, whole numbers also have to follow a certain number pattern. And so on and so on. Okay? So that is how you can, you can have there is a number pattern of types of number. There is also a number pattern where it is increasing, increasing 
pattern or sequence. Okay? So, there is a situation where you are going to find that the numbers keep on increasing by a certain number. Okay? So, you can have like 2, then you go to 6, then you go to, you know, 8. So, they are increasing by a certain number. So, they are what you call increasing sequence. Then there is what you call decreasing, decreasing, okay? Decreasing sequence, okay? Here the numbers are reducing, the numbers are reducing. So there is also that number sequence. As, as in our examples, you will see them. Then there is also a, 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 a number pattern where it takes both, both, both increasing, both increasing and decreasing, okay, sequence. So, when you are faced with a question of, of like complete, find a missing number, find a missing number in the sequence, quickly, what must come into your minds very fast is that First, is the number I'm completing a type of number? Is it a type of number? So you can easily detect that this one is a certain type of number and it can quickly help you to complete that missing, that, 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 that sequence. Then if you come, if you don't see that it is, if it is not a, 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 a type of number, then it means it could be an increasing sequence. Look for how is it increasing. We, by, by, what, by what number is that sequence increasing for you to be able to find a missing number? Thirdly, think along the decreasing sequence. You may find that that sequence is decreasing. Find out by what number is that sequence decreasing. So, so that now when you get to know that number, it can help you to find the next missing number or numbers. Or it might be both increasing and decreasing sequence. So you might be given a number and it has it increases here, then it decreases. It increases and it decreases. So let's quickly go to our examples. Let's begin by looking at the examples. Examples. So in our example, let's begin with our example number one. They are saying find a missing, find a missing numbers, find a missing numbers in the in the pattern, in the pattern, in the patterns below. Okay, so we shall call, we shall just have that as an instruction, but let's begin with number one. So our number one here, we have one, three, five, okay, nine, then we have dash, dash. So you are going to, you are going to be faced with, an, with a situation like this number here, they are telling you to find a find the missing numbers. There are two numbers that you're supposed to fill in. But when you look at the numbers, yeah, when you look at the numbers, uh, there is a number here missing, seven is missing, seven is missing. So we have five, seven, nine, dash, dash. Okay? Now there, is, there are two numbers that are missing. But when you look at the given numbers, when you think alongside the type of numbers, what would be this type of numbers? So for me, I would see them as one would work, the, would work out this number using the idea of type of numbers. So these are odd numbers. So if you if you counted odd numbers, you keep on skipping one. Okay? So you are going to have the next odd number as 11, and you have the next odd number as 13, okay? So, for you to show, you can just say, these are odd numbers. You can just say, these are, these are odd 
numbers. And you will be marked correctly. Okay? You will be marked correctly. Another person, another person may want to work out differently. Another person, or alternatively, another person will say, he has not reasoned along, alongside a type of numbers. For that person, he has one, three, five, seven, nine, dash, dash. Someone, someone else will say, one to, from one to three, what have they added? One, two, three, so they have added two. Okay, from three to five, three, four, five, they have also added two. What about from five to seven, they have also added two. What about from seven to nine, they have also added two. So meaning that this is an increasing number sequence, and it is increasing by two. So meaning even to get the next number here, I'm also going to add two. Even to get the next missing number here, I'm also going to add two. So what will be nine plus two? It will give you 11. And what is 11 plus 2? It will give you 13. So, there are two ways you can work out that number. You can think alongside types of numbers and you can be marked correct. You can also use the pattern, but like here it is an increasing pattern. Let's move on to our example 2. Our example 2, we have uh, we have numbers, a number pattern, that is one, two, uh, we have four, we have five, we have seven, we have eight, then we have dash, dash. So dear children, hmm? when you are faced with such a number pattern, go and think alongside these areas. But now when, when you look at this number, it, there is one, then there is two, then there is four. So this does not give you any sense of a type of number, so you skip that. But I can see there is one here, then there is two, one is smaller than two, two is smaller than four, and then the next number is bigger. So let's find out what kind, of, what type of a, a pattern is this one. So from one to two, you add one. They added one to one to give you two. From two to four, they added here two, okay? They, they added two to two to give you four. From four to five, they added one to get five. From five to seven, they added two to give you seven. From seven, to A, they added one. Now look at this type of a sequence. They're adding one, adding two. Adding one, adding two. Adding one, so you also follow the same pattern. So what next will you add? You will add two. Then next you will add one, okay? So that is the pattern. It is of add one, add two. Add one, add two. Add one, add two. So meaning it is now eight plus two to give you 10. So the missing number here is 10. And it is 10 plus now 1 to give you 11. So the next missing number there is 11. I hope you're getting that very clearly. Let's move on to our third example. Let's move on to our third example. And here we have 1, 2, 3, Dash, four, five, uh, four, five, then we have dash, uh, we have seven, dash, nine, ten, okay? So they want you to complete the missing, find the missing numbers, find the missing numbers in this sequence. So. This is one, two, three, okay? It is one, two, excuse me here, there is a mistake here. So it is one, two, three, dash, okay? Now, this number here, when you see it, it has one, two, three, dash, five, dash, seven, dash, nine, ten. 
So when you look at it quickly, when you are reasoning alongside the, 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 the types of numbers, quickly you have seen already the types of numbers. So the types of numbers here, I see they are counting, counting numbers, counting numbers, okay? Because you're just counting 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 19. So those are just counting numbers, okay? So if you wanted also to do it the other way of pattern, it is, it is increasing by 1. It is increasing by 1. But you can go with that and you're marked correctly. Let's move on to our fourth example. I want us to exhaust quite a, like two more, one more example. If you have 18 and then you have 15, then you have 12, 9, dash, dash, dash. They want you to complete that number pattern. Okay? So how are you going to complete that number pattern? When you, think, you, you, when you look at 18 to 15, the numbers are reducing, they are decreasing, okay? So from 18 to 15, from 18 to 15, what have they subtracted? So you can count, uh-huh, 15, 16, 17, 18, so they have subtracted 3 to give you 15. Even from 15 to 12, they have removed the 3 from 15 to give you 12. From 12 to 9, they have also removed what? 3. So this is a subtraction number pattern. A reducing number pattern. It is reducing subtraction. Okay? So even you, you are going to subtract 3 throughout. Subtract 3. Subtract 3. Subtract 3. So let's subtract. What is 9 minus 3? It gives us 6. So the next, the missing number there is 6. What is 6 minus 3? It is 3. So the missing number there is 3. What is the 3 minus 3? The missing number there is 0. So that is how children will get number patterns and sequences. Now I want you to write for me this activity. You're going to write for me this activity. So do for me this activity. I want you to complete. Okay? Complete or find the missing numbers. Find the missing numbers. And we have 0, 1, 3, 4, 6, 7, 9, dash, dash. In our number two, we have 32, 30, 28, 26, dash, dash. In our number three, we have 5, 10, dash, 20, 25, dash, 35, 40. In our number four, we have 0, 2, 4, 6, dash, 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 16. In our number 5, we have 4, 6, 8, 9, 10, 12, dash, 15, dash, 18. So dear children, uh, thank you very much for being attentive. And I want to encourage you to do this work. And please stay safe and stay at home. I wish you all the best.